What's up, YouTube? In today's video, I will be talking to you. I'll be teaching to you. You can say whatever you want about the sun. The sun is the closest star near Earth, near Mars, near Venus, near many, 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 just many, not many, 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 many planets near the Earth. So, let's talk about it. So, I made this mind map over here. Let's start from the left and go to the top. Then go to the right, then go to the down, then go to the fun part, the experiments. And stay tuned till the end of the video because I will be teaching you how to make sun tea. Sun tea. Sun tea. So without any further ado, let me just start. What is the sun made up of? Option 1. Hydrogen. Option 2. Helium. Option 3. Oxygen. Option 4. Hydrogen and helium. Option 5. Nothing. It's just matter. And the correct answer is option A, option B, and option D. That is 1, 2, and 4 in the other terms. Other. So that is hydrogen and helium. So you can see this picture over here. Yeah, that picture. Which shows the glory of the sun. So sun comes from the word solus or solum. One of them is Latin, one of them is Greek. And from there comes a new word, solar, which is English. And I like English because I don't know Greek or Latin. I expect that even you don't know. If you know, well and good. Very good. Congratulations. So solar system is nothing but the sun system. Or the solar system or whatever system it's based on the sun so sun is the main part of it the middle of it so now it's just the middle of the solar system but let's see whether it's the middle of the whole galaxy you heard me right the whole galaxy yeah maybe i'm exaggerating too much the location of the sun is not exactly, but approximately 26,000 light years away, away, away from the center of the galaxy. Do you know why I don't want to go to the Orion arm? Because I'm staying in the Orion arm. So, the middle word over there, Orion arm, is where you are staying, my friends. Or if you are aliens and you are watching this video, you are not staying here but you are seeing this video. That means this is the Orion arm where the solar system lies. And if you are like buying something online, that time you just put address so and so blah 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 blah. You don't put the uh, like uh, landmark, maybe this uh, very big mall near your house or just a small shop but a recognized shop. Or a very well known school or a college or anything. You put your book, you put your landmark. No. So that landmark is called the Sagittarius Arm. The Sagittarius Arm is the neighbor to the Orion Arm, which is also the neighbor to the Sagittarius Arm, which is its neighbor. And it is its neighbor. Do you understand? If you understand, hit, like, hit that like button so now you know what we are seeing over here anyway this picture over here the yellow dot you can see like under the picture that is where the solar system is yeah we are not this is not the sun the middle part it's not the sun please don't get sad even i got sad when i i, I found out about this yeah now Let's go to the fun facts. The fun facts. Let's cover them quickly, brilliantly, easily. The sun is almost a perfect sphere. But earth is not. Earth is somewhat a oval geosphere. Do you know how we got the word geosphere? It's just a sphere which looks like the earth. So, if you want to know what shape the earth is, just geosphere. Yeah, yeah. Link in the description for pictures and things. So, check out the description for the picture of the geosphere and the sun is almost a perfect sphere. Next, 
One day a sun will consume the earth. When it is too hungry, it will eat the earth. When it's dying, it will explode and eat the earth. So, if you don't want to be dinner, hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be lunch, share this video to everyone you know. That means if you just subscribe, the most wonderful thing will happen. For another 1 billion years, 1 billion, not light years, 1 billion years, the uh, the sun will not explode. Isn't that cool? So hit that subscribe button. Next. Over 1 million Earths could fit inside the sun. So did you know that? No. Then you got to know right now. Yay. So now let's go to the next one. Hydrogen he and helium are the starter elements. So if you don't know, you don't know. What's the starter elements? So we have... 118 or 108 elements of the periodic table. I have a very favorite good song on the periodic table. Check it out in the description down below. That song is from um, ASAP Science. Let's go to the main thing. So, do you know with which elements, which were the first elements on earth? You don't? Then find it out right now. It's hydrogen and helium. We didn't have iron, oxygen, nitrogen. None of them we had. We didn't have any of them. See, we have raw rice and we have water. We have heat. We can make new rice. We can make good rice like that with different combinations of hydrogen and helium and different heat uh, Different temperatures, some of them were cool when some um, particles of hydrogen, helium were cooled, a new element was formed. When they were overheated, a new element was formed. That's the way the Earth, the Mars, the Venus was born. So that's the starter elements. Yay! Now let's go to the next one. The sun accounts for 99.86% of the mass in the solar system. The solar system is a big thing. And in that big thing, sun is the biggest thing. You might have Jupiter, Venus. Venus is not big. Why did I say that? Anyway, Jupiter, Neptune and all that big planets. But that that is just... Whatever is 99.86 minus 100 is equal to. That must be 70, 14% or something. You calculate and you find out, children. Now, let's go to the next one. The energy created by the sun's core is nuclear fission. So, did you know what is nuclear fission? If not, learn right now. So, have you heard about nuclear energy? How do you get nuclear energy when something is exploded? Or some energy is, some small particles of energy are mixed together and made big, big, big particles of energy. That is nuclear fission. That happens in some places of earth and you can do that too. If you want, learn nuclear sciences. So, there is a small particle. There is another small particle. Mix it together. You get nuclear fission. Let's go to the next one. The sun is traveling at almost 220 kilometers per second. What? 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 How can that happen? It's simple. We are moving with the sun. Yes, we are like in the same bus or the same car to go to the next destination, which is nothing because we will always be traveling like nomads. So even if we are in this house, we are traveling at, at almost, almost 180 kilometers per second on earth. We are a little slow now. The sun, what to do? It's so big. It's faster than us. But it's okay. We can cope up. We always cope up. Till today, till billions of years, we are coped up. All the planets are coped up. So there will be no problem 
for the next one billion years, if your great 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 grandchildren are in trouble, I'm not. I'm warning you. After one billion years, who knows what will explode? Just for jokes. Please don't take me seriously. That would. Yeah. Now let's go to the color of the sun. What's the color of the sun? You have the photos they know by that. I got to know it's a red color, orange color, yellow color. Yay! No, it's not. The color is white. It looks yellow because the rainbow's sharpest, most expanding color is yellow and blue is the least one that's why the sky is blue or else it will be black so be thankful for the sun for your blue sky it's not the water it's not the water it's not the water and why did i talk about rainbow colors because the sun's actual color is white you knew that you didn't know that then know it if you already knew it i'm really sorry Wait till the experiments come. And then I'll explain this to you guys. So, rainbow color. So, have you learned about the prism experiment? Put white light in a prism. Prism is a, a triangular vase type of thing made out of glass. If we put white light in it, it will split into the seven orcrux. Have you seen Harry Potter? If you have seen Harry Potter, hit like. If you have not seen Harry Potter, subscribe. And seven colors. It splits into seven colors. Have you ever wondered why the rainbow comes? How the rainbow comes? Why? I don't know. But you're going to know today. So when rain is falling slowly in slow motion, that time the sunlight comes through it. And the droplets act. They act. They put on an act like a prism. They act like a prism. They form a big prism. And when the sun's white light goes inside that prism, that waterish prism, it becomes into the one and only rainbow wave. You cannot find the pot of gold. If you want to find it, you will have to go very far. Very, very, very far. Earn to the sun. The sun is the pot of gold. Yeah. So, here I have in the mind map, I have a small note. You can read that. But let's go to the most fun part. The experiments. So, experiment number one. Sun tea. About this, I'll tell it to you in the end. Because that's one of the most interesting ones. So, water and white light. So, how does sun, how does um, the sun make water into the rainbow? The same thing you can do. Take a transparent glass, fill it water, fill it with water. That this much, this much, this much. And take a white torch and keep it near the glass. Let it not spread everywhere. Keep it near the glass and look at the wall. It's projecting something. It's putting something over there. What is that thing? That is none other than your own rainbow. The white light is the sun. The water is the water. And the rainbow is the rainbow. Yay! So you made your own rainbow at home. Try that out. But next one is also the same experiment. A lot more complex but more uh, rewarding you can say. So prism plus white light. I told you about the prism. It's the glass pyramid type of thing. It, it, where you put the white light. It splits into seven colors. If you don't have a prism. Don't worry. Take water. And nice hot water. Let it cool. Let the hot water cool. Then put it in the freezer. Make it into ice. And put light into it. It will become into the one. And only the rainbow. But it will be curved this time. Because with water it won't be curved. Just the 
different lights will be projected there in a straight line or however you have put the water however you have not put the water like that but with the prism it will come in the rainbow shape rainbow shape the semicircle the semicircle so yeah please try that out if you want me to try any of these experiments comment down below if you can't comment down below then comment in the description area of my channel or if you can't do that also go to my instagram feed and dm me okay that's too much that's too much now for the thing we are all waiting for sun tea so sun tea is just tea without milk take some water put some tea leaves and close it with a lid close it with a cap if you can turn it around keep it in the morning let it be a sunny day and wait until the sun goes down a bit like in the almost in the mid afternoon of 3 o'clock or something then get it back shake it nicely and it might be cold it might be warm drink it in the in whatever temperature it is don't try heating it don't try this heating it if it's too hot let it be too hot drink or you can so this this is called sun tea this uh good for you pretty good it gives you good vitamin c the water absorbs the vitamin c that's why this what this water this tea leaves is good for you so do try that out and that is all for today guys please like 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 share 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 and subscribe Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. It's been me, Science Bro, and I am out. Thank you for watching, and bye. I'm out.